Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Soldier Fortune 2 on your Windows 10 computer. I personally am running a 64-bit version of Windows 10 on a GPD Win 2, little handheld computer device. Um, first thing I wanted to do was install Soldier Fortune 2 when I got this. Um, I haven't played Soldier Fortune 2 since Windows 7, I believe, and I think it worked no problem back then. I quickly realized while trying to get to work on Windows 10 that it is a pain to get it to work. I did come across a ton of different people or posts online from different forums of them all having pretty much lots of issues getting it to run or just to open up. have seen several solutions, but I haven't got just one solution to get it to work. I actually had to combine a few different solutions into one, so I will show you how to get that working with all the solutions here. It's not too hard, it won't take too long. Um, you will need a program to extract your zip files. I use 7-Zip, you can use WinRAR or WinZip, whatever you prefer, whatever you're comfortable with. Um, you don't really need the game, the game is 16 years old, I don't know who still has that disc. I lost mine probably 10 years ago or so, but I will show you how to get the game if you need it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go straight to your web browser, and you're going to go to this website here, caserun.com forward slash games. In this website, you're going to find the demo version. Um, not many people play that. I tried playing it the other day just to see if anybody was still on the demo. Saw a few servers, didn't see anybody actively playing, but I did get a test out my GPD gamepad just to see if it worked fine with it, which it does. And anybody who has a GPD Win or GPD Win 2, you can use the gamepad or you can use a wireless mouse and keyboard if that's what you prefer. But other than that, you're probably going to want the full version and the gold version. The gold version is the same as the full, I believe, just has the gold patch and the Punk Buster, a few other things. But you're probably going to want to get both of them. According to the Soldier of Fortune 2 subreddit, there is a little bit of an active community still playing. But sometimes you will only find them on the full version, and sometimes you will find some of them on the gold version. So you can install both of them. I'm only going to do just the gold version in this video, but the steps are identical for both of them. Um, once you download the zip file for those, you're going to go to this other website here, um, which is www.mentallydisturbedkillers.com forward slash sof2 underscore dll underscore files dot zip. What that's going to do is just going to download the sof2 dll files that you need to add along with the game itself. I got it to work without it, but like I said, I, I haven't been on an active server yet, so you might need them going forward so it doesn't hurt to install or just copy those over. Once you have those zip files downloaded, what you're going to do is open up wherever your downloaded files are. Mine are just located in downloads. Here, I'm going to go ahead and just put this aside and make a folder on my desktop. Name it whatever you want. I'm going to name mine SOF2 Gold. Now I'm going to open up the gold zip file here, select everything that's in here, and drag that over to SOF2 Gold. Um, I believe the only thing that's different from the full version and gold version is this PB folder. I believe that's the Punk Buster folder. You won't find that folder in the full version. So if you just see base and SOF2 MP.exe, that's fine. Just copy those two over. Once those copied over, you're going to do the same thing with the SOF2 DLL files. Open that up. Select everything here. Drag that over to SOF2. And then there you go. Open up the SOF2 gold folder. This is what you should see. Again, if you're running SOF2 full, you might not have that PB folder in there. Uh, go ahead and open up SOF2 MP or don't. I'll show you what happens. This is what I came across here it would just pretty much pop open, you get a black screen, it would say loading, and then it would just crash and you would see your desktop again. Um, it's going to crash right here. There you go. So now, what you want to do now is just pretty much take um, the SOF2 gold folder that you have on your desktop and you're just going to move that to your C drive. Just like that. Once that's moved to your C drive, go ahead and open up uh, the folder, SOF2 MP, right click that rename it we're gonna rename it to M O H A A don't ask me why it was a 
one of the solutions I came across and I know this works because I actually made a video previously and misspelled it to M-U-H-A-A and it did not work unless I renamed it to M-O-H-A-A. So once you have that renamed, just right click on it, click uh, go to send to desktop. That's going to create a desktop on your, sorry, a shortcut on your desktop and you can rename that to whatever you want. SOF2 gold for me. And then there you go. So that's, um, it, it shouldn't load. It might load on some computers. It doesn't load for me at this point. We have to go to the next step, which is pretty much hitting the Windows key and the R key. You're going to get the run window. And here you're going to put in sysdm.cpl. Hit enter or OK. You'll be presented with the system properties screen. Click on advanced, and then you're going to want to click on settings under performance. Another way to get to this system properties is just to go to your file explorer, right click on this PC, click on properties. Here you're going to get this uh, system screen. Just click on advanced system settings on the left hand side, and it's going to take you to that same system properties screen. We're going to go ahead and hit settings, click on the da uh, data execution prevention tab make sure the bottom one is selected for turn on DEP for all programs and services except those I select. Hit add. Um, so you're going to navigate to your C drive, the SOF2 Gold folder, select MOHAA, hit open, and then hit apply. Now it should load for you after this, but it's also going to give you a pop-up about allowing it through the Windows firewall. So before loading it, this is what I usually do. I just click up this arrow here and click on Windows Defender. It looks like a shield. You might find that down here next to the volume or the Wi-Fi. Double click on that. Click on Firewall and Network Protection. Down here, click on Allow an App Through Firewall. Click on Change Settings up here and hit Allow Another App. Click on Browse and same thing. Go to your C drive. SOF2 Gold or SOF2 Full Folder, click on MOHAA, hit Open, then hit Add. You'll get this little uh, MOHAA here. Make sure you check Private and have them both selected. Hit OK. All right. Now you're going to be um, able to load the full or the gold version. If you need the key, if you don't have your key anymore, these are three keys that should work. I've only used the top one, so I know that one works. I haven't tested the bottom two, but you shouldn't have any issues. I will plug this in in a moment here. Pause the video, write that down. Um, that way you can add that onto your game. So I'm going to load up the game now. And I am going to pretty much go to the volume settings first to uh, lower it because the volume is pretty loud. Okay, so once that volume's down there, <laughs> uh, you could just enter in right away, but for me, I just wanted to do that. You're going to enter in your CD key. So I'm going to enter in the one that I said I, that I tried. FM, HM, Xbox there, MR7E, an Xbox here, MT7W. ETF4 and then D0. After entering it, you're going to hit the verify um, button there and it should say valid key. Just like that. Now you can go ahead and play on an online server. Click on this little computer here. Source, turn out to the internet. Click this over here. And it should pull up some servers there. Like I said earlier, I have not been in an active server yet. I just got this installed the other night in the middle of the night, so I did not play. I had work all day the next day, and I just figured I'd make this video for anybody else who's having issues getting on to Soldier Fortune 2 using Windows 10 or a GPD win. Um, at this point, you might need some mod packs or some skins or whatever just to get into certain servers. I think the maps download automatically, but if they don't, there is another website you can use for help. Um, it's sofplayers.co.uk uh, forward slash help dot shtml. Once you go to that site there, you should find different files to download for Soldier Fortune 2. Um, another place to check out is reddit.com forward slash r forward slash sof2. 
it's a semi-active community uh, for the Soldier Fortune 2 where people can ask questions or if you have any issues. There are people still replying. I mean, this was a month ago, so it's a good spot to go to. So hopefully this video got you back on there. Hopefully others will find it and, you know, be able to jump back on Soldier Fortune 2. Like I said earlier, this game is awesome, and it would be awesome to see a lot more people playing it again. So I hope this helped. Um, I will go ahead and try to get myself onto an active server either today or tomorrow. If I run into any issues or have some trouble installing things and need to, I will create another video showing how to fix that or how to get what you need installed to play on an active server. So hope this helped, and you guys take care.